And they were winning every game. They go on this winning streak, the Cardinals do. But they were beating up on crap teams. And I'm giving them credit for that. But if Albert Pujols wasn't hitting about five home runs in that week, I don't think those games would have been that exciting either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you are. You're beating up on crap teams. And that's why the best games this season, those Yankees games were awesome. Those early Mets games, speaking of Nolan Arenado, when he charged the mound. Yeah. To me, I know we have recency bias, so that Yankees series is still right there. That Mets series early in the year was freaking awesome. Remember that? We talked about Big Strong Guy yeah. for a week after that. I, yep. I hope they play. <laughs> I playoffs. know. That would be an awesome postseason. I hope they get pissed at each other. And I'm, not, I'm not always right, but I feel like I was right there, and I knew I was. Yeah, that's there the one. You go. That's the one right there. Also, I think Nolan Arenado plays with such a competitive fire that if you're a baseball player, you understand. If you take a pitch and it's borderline, it's it's one ball outside. Yeah, you're not going to like the call, but you get it. You know that it's close. Yeah. I think he blew his top. And if Nolan Arenado would have half swung and he got to a point where it was a 50-50 call, I don't think he blows his top because he understands he's dang close to breaking the plane. He didn't even get close to swinging. And I think he was probably so utterly shocked the second he heard the strike call that he just lost his mind because he didn't even come close to swinging. Are you kidding, Chuck? Every time Quintana and Montgomery pitch, I'm locked in. He retires from Channel 2, and he suddenly Uh-oh. mailed it in as a fan, too? Ooh. Timmy Van Gelded. And, was, that somebody, was that somebody from Fox 2? Timmy Van Gelded. First of oh, all, you first of all I mailed it in way before, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so you know. Let's be real here. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Boo goes, uh, over the last 100 years, the Cubs have an overall losing record, except against the Cardinals, where they are over 500 when we play the Cubs. It's always their World Series. Yeah, I could see that happening sometimes. Mm. But Cam, give us a hockey. Give us the month. Is it February? This is the true dog oh, days of the baseball February. season. The trade deadline was awesome. And I can I can speak to this directly with YouTube views. People were so excited for the Soto talk, and then when the Cardinals made all their moves. And we're talking about everybody was into it. And then Pujols, everybody's into it. Last week or so, I just think August is Ugh. the time where everybody's, okay, it's back to school. Playoffs are coming. September's going to be fun. October's going to be awesome. Yeah, but to me, this is the true dog days month of the baseball it's season. It's February. August and February. Two worst months. September and October, I think, are two of, if not the best, sports months of the year. I, I, we talked about this. I don't know if you were here. But, yeah, October is my jam, baby. October's you a got, good run. You got just the weather. You got you could still golf. You know, you could you got hockey you, coming up. You got up. the World Series. You got the you World got Series. NFL. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, let's go. NBA. Star, yeah, it's great. Let's I go. Love. Sunday Night Baseball here in St. Louis Damn. this week. October's where it's at. August See, is like, ugh. That series... I cannot wait for it mm-hmm. because that is a playoff potential preview. Cardinals, Braves, I will be locked in for the entire weekend. Got but it. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to get excited for game 27 no, I know. versus the Rockies slash Diamondbacks slash Cubs teams that so, don't even try to win. With you saying that, I, I, I don't know if we want to talk about it now or if we want to get in a break. The new Cardinals schedule came out, and I don't want to break a schedule down. That's pretty boring. No, let's do it, man. But, but yeah, we'll All talk 162. about... Let's yeah. talk about like next August. But I do think some of the changes might make for more entertaining baseball. We can shelve it. If we need to get... Just like who they're playing and stuff? If we need to get paid, the way that the new yeah. schedule is broke out, we can come back to it. Zobie's having a good time right now. Five games in this many days is too much baseball for the players and the fans. Uh, PA needs to do something about this. Isn't, it, isn't this the second time this year? Sanderson. Hey, dude, I completely agree with that. There's too many, too much going on. Too many games. People are working. Like what? I, Players Association could have done Jesus. something about it by not being on strike or being locked out for the first two weeks yeah. of the season because you want to get your guys paid for these games. That's what's got to happen. You got to make them up somewhere. No one is a highlight reel. He can do say whatever he wants. Talk to him? Question mark. Please, Sharon. Yeah, there's nothing to say. Sounds like about. Sharon has a little thing for Nolan. Well, how can you not? I understand it. Cam does. I know. Sharon can. He is, I mean, he's pretty cool, pretty cool dude. Like, I, he's I got told swag. You. I like the way he goes up to the plate. And he's, has, he's always got, like, a cool look in his face. Like, he doesn't, he's not, like, I don't like all the, ooh, it's the, the hand stuff that you do. It's just kind of nerdy to me. That's all, it's all good, baby. It's he's, all good. He's jittery. He, no, just, like, the nerd, just, like, whenever you hit a, he just, instead of, like, going, like, I'm going to do, like, a, a salt and a pepper shaker thing. He just goes up there, like, oh, what's up? 
Like, he's just a cool cat, man. I don't ever want to see you make that hand gesture I, Well, again. it looks like you're, like, playing with yourself. <laughs> I have or with say, somebody else. I think like, that's I nerdy. I'm not going to lie. I like a lot of the stuff the Cardinals have done over the years when they have their little thing for the season. I don't like the I don't like the grind it out pepper. I'm not a fan. On radio, homie. Gio hung up, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor guy. Sorry, Gio. Am I wrong on that? What are you saying again? I'm sorry. I had a phone call and Gio. What? Like, that looks if so somebody stupid. gets a hit and they look over the dugout and they do a very small little grind. Yeah. I love Newt Bar, by the way. I I, let too, me tell you but... something. I love Lars Newt Bar. I love his energy. I just picked him up for fantasy because the dude's been on fire for about a month. Yeah, he has. And I love his energy. I but know when he going gets real this. crazy in the dugout, grinding the grinding the pepper. It's to me, it's just it's, it's a little goofy. Am uh-huh. I wrong, Charlie? A hundred percent. Like dude. I get it. I know. That's why I like Nolan Arenado. I just like the way he's just all he's he's raw. He's just raw, but he's not like Tommy Pham raw. But he's cool. He's always happy is a right. reason to hate somebody. Yeah, of- Kinda. <laughs> why are you so happy? <laughs> well, I don't why want can't you to I be, be happy? happy? Happy. Colm Branco, I don't want you to be happy on the ice. Sometimes I want you to cross-check a guy in the back of the head no. and get pissy-poo and get pissed and show emotion. This is a balance, man. We're, you know. What's your favorite Cardinal attitude that somebody had a baseball attitude that you looked at and you're like, Well, right I like now, I like Nolan Arenado. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Okay, like, he's there. Um, Matty Holiday. Okay. I liked his, just, like, he walked up like a badass dude. Like, look like Popeye. I like his style. He looked awesome. <laughs> Um, um, I like Mike Matheny was cool when he played. Yeah. Mike Matheny. The, when he played or when he managed? At the beginning when he managed. I like Mike. Always nice to me. Yeah, I'm going to call you out right now. He's nice to you. You liked his hair. You went to a golf tournament with, with him. He invites me to stuff, and I'm like, uh, You like yeah. his Affliction t-shirts? Yeah, he gave he, you one probably he once. Gave me a, he, he gave, gave me, you some jeans that had he some did, he did. rhinestones on them. I got all kinds of... I got an awesome jacket, a Matheny thing that he gave me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he's on the jacket? Like, there's a, like no, an airbrush it's, it's jacket? Just like, he's got this cool company. I forgot. It's, um... Oh, dang it. I forgot what it's called. No. Anywho, I like Mike Matheny. I thought he was a cool player. Like, he got jacked in the jaw, spit out that blood. Like, what's up? I like that. Okay. Who else? Well, God, now you got me going. You like all the handsome guys. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jason Mott? I don't remember He's him. Cool. He's you awesome. liked, I don't remember like, him. You liked Izzy. Oh, I like Carpenter. Oh, Izzy, yeah. Izzy's your guy. My boy. Yeah, my, Chris Carpenter. Chris, Chris Carpenter. Carpenter's cool. He came out and skated with us. A horrifying interview. He came Just, out and <laughs> literally put hockey equipment on and skated with us when I was playing here in, in the summertime when we, we had, there was a lockout. And he, he was... Good hockey player. Chris Carpenter is one of those people that when you meet him, he's a lot bigger than he looks like on TV. And he's a horrifying he's interview. A, who else am I missing here? There's another. Does that all make sense to you? It checks Players out. you okay. liked. Yeah. Like their attitude, like their style. What about you, Nate? Freeze. Har- Harrison. I like Harrison Bader. <laughs> Harrison. I like Harrison. That's like the opposite of what I like. Here's what I love about the 2022 Cardinals. <laughs> They're two superstars. Oh, and you can add a poo holes. <laughs> But I'm talking about the guys right now who are MVP types. Arnado Goldschmidt, they're like the perfect dichotomy of emotion. Arnado is the fiery dude. He plays with that competitive yeah. spirit. Yes. He wears his emotions on his sleeve, and I love it. Yeah. And Goldie is the exact opposite. He's just the most cool, calm, collected dude. Every time he comes up, I know he's been in a little bit of a slump lately. That won't last long. Boom. But like every time he comes up, he Get hits a three-run homer or a double, and he he doesn't react emotionally. He's almost like a Terminator. Yeah, dude. Yes. He he's he's close to the perfect baseball player. He does everything right. He doesn't do anything flashy. He just puts his head down, runs the bases. He'll get the extra base. He makes every scoop at first base. He's a Gold Glover. He takes unbelievable at bats. He'll take a walk. He'll hit a jack, and he rarely smiles. I mean, he smiles, but he's just yeah. like, he's so professional. Yep. No, I know. I know. I know, man. I, I, there's some, you know who else has cool? Yachty. Yachty's cool, man. Like, it is what it is. Pre-22 pre Yachty? Yeah, like, this year ain't that cool. Yachty and before we, he retired? Yachty come up there, man. He looks awesome. You know, you know, it's probably not good to have neck tattoos if you want to get a job. But if you're oh, Yachty or Molina, I think look, you'll be okay. he's gonna, you could do that kind of thing. You know, if you're playing in an MLB, like, that's your style. Cool. Like, he looks it's just his swag, the way we throw somebody out, like he gets pissed. Everybody respects him. He's just got cool swag, dude. I like Yadier Molina and his style. I do. Oh, dude, for 20 years, who has, I know this year's been a little weird, 
But who has stood up for St. Louis more on and off the field than Yadier Molina? Cam you, Jansen. But you, yeah, fighting wise. <laughs> but you, you don't mess with the Cardinals when Yadier's on the team. You don't mess with them on yeah. the field. You yeah. don't say anything in the media. Yeah. And even when he takes something like I didn't think the Chris Bryant comment was a that was a joke. Yeah. And Yadi took real offense to it. Yeah. But like, if you ever said some something to the to the Cardinals, if you ever chirped in the dugout, the whole thing with Brandon Phillips, Yadi was a hundred percent has always stood up for the Cardinals for the city like nobody else. Yeah, it goes to Blues in games and stuff. I appreciate all, all that stuff. Oh, man. the city of Cincinnati legitimately hates him, and for all the right reasons. If you're a Cardinal, oh, fan. I was I was at that All Star game in Cincinnati where they booed him. They announced his name. And he does the he does the double thumb to his jersey. They're booing the crap out of him, and then Albert on the other side starts booing him too. This is great. That's cool. Why are they booing him? Because of Brandon Phillips. Because of twenty years of the Reds sucking and the Cardinals always beating them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The whole Johnny Cueto deal. I get you. No one looks like a John Snow with a nervous tick, Sharon. He kind of does look like John Snow. No. Oh. He kind. I bet you my wife will agree with that. He kind of looks like Jon Snow. So she likes him. I mean, how can he not? Oh, I said that. I mean, like, no one were not. He's like a super. Look, 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 look he's entered Patrick Berglund territory. Yeah. Not the off the ice stuff. But he's entered Patrick Berglund territory (laughs) when wives are a little more interested in the sport (laughs) when he's doing an interview. They have no interest in the sport. And all of a sudden, oh. Kate likes a couple guys. Hockey. Oh, hey, now I like baseball. I think she likes Tom Tom Wilson, too. 